Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about the signal amplification inside a cell. Right? So we will be talking about signal amplification. So what do we mean by signal amplification? Signal amplification obviously inside a cell because we know cells require signals because different types of signal growth sig signal is there and different hormonal messengers are there signal is there. So cell need to receive some signal from outside and they react according to the signal right and it is necessary for maintaining the cellular processes and it is also necessary for maintaining the homeostasis inside our body right for this reason signal amplification is very important because the signal or the messenger that come from outside is not enough the limit of the messenger that is coming from outside is not enough for the cell to be there it's not enough for, for the cell to re, to give the response they need to provide some response in higher amounts for that reason they need to amplify the signal in more amount right so that is why signal amplification is required for example let's say if this is the cell this cell this is the eukaryotic cell it is having different messenger uh, signal receptors outside and let's say this is red colored molecule is a hormone this hormone is just coming and uh, attached to the hormonal receptor that is found in onto the surface of the cell and then it will provide some downstream effect which is called signal transduction. Now due to the signal transduction, they are going to activate molecules inside the cell, right? So signal messenger will come, sit onto the signal receptor, it will give the signal to downstream with other chemical messenger. They are called secondary messengers, tertiary messengers and so, so on. And finally, that signal reached to the protein molecule, they want that signal to be reached. And now once the signal is, reached, uh, is there, then the protein and the cell behave accordingly, right? So this is the whole process of signaling. Now if we look at here, when the signal is carrying inside the cell, going inside the cell, there are several rounds of amplification which is possible and this amplification is actually required guys so let's talk about the amplification now let's talk about first this, this molecule let's say this is a hormone and this hormone is adrenaline adrenaline hormone okay now once this hormone reach to the adrenaline receptor onto the surface of the cell it starts to amplify more inside the cell so for that we need to understand the signal transduction of adrenaline hormone and we are going to see what is the degree of increment of the signal inside the cell so let's so here when adrenaline is there first this adrenaline hormone is going to activate uh, so it is normally there and it is going to activate adenylyl cyclase right so it is going to activate adenylyl adenylyl cyclase this is the first thing to be activated after attachment of this adrenaline hormone first chemical which is getting activated now this one adenylyl cyclase will now convert ATP to cyclic AMP now one adenylyl cyclase will increase the production of cyclic AMP from ATP and th there they increase this process by hundredfold so 100 is increment so one adenylyl cyclase increase and produce 100 cyclic AMP molecule now this 100 now each of those cyclic AMP molecule now so we'll take this cyclic AMP here so each cyclic AMP molecule here is going to activate another so not let me write it this way this cyclic AMP molecule is going to activate protein kinase A this is a protein kinase kinase molecules I hope you all know what kinases do kinases are phosphorylating different proteins so there this protein kinase A is getting activated and this so let's say this is the active form of protein kinase now each of the cyclic AMP is activating 100 protein kinase A so here also it increased by 100 fold so ultimately there was 100 cyclic AMP but now here was so it was previously so let me write it here in this way so 100 cyclic AMP was there now each of the cyclic AMP activate 100 pKa so ultimately the number of pK activated will be 100 into 100 or 10,000 right now each of those protein kinase A molecules are going to activate phosphorylase kinase molecule this is another type of kinase 
active. Now each of this protein kinase activating phosphorylase kinase. Now 10,000 was there, right? So again 100 times increment here. That means previously it was 10,000, so it will be 10,000. Yeah, into 100, it will be 10 lakh, right? So now each of those phosphorylase kinase is now finally going to activate glycogen phosphorylase right active and again here it occurs in hundred times right so here we go one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight so, so it's kind of 10 crore. So you can see what which begins from cyclic AMP, it is going to increase every bit in 100 times. So once the signal arises in a particular area, that signal is beginning to convert and is finally converted into several million times. So one molecule of, remember, this is one molecule of adrenaline and finally it activates kind of 100 million uh, glycogen and it breaks down kind of 100 million glycogen into glycogen 1 phosphate because this signaling pathway is simply breaking down of glycogen into glucose 1 phosphate and that thing is going on guys and this is possible from one particular hormone it gives the signal to that higher level so that is called signal amplification and the signal amplification is required because inside the cell suppose we need to activate this glycogen phosphorylase we need to break down gluco glycogen into glucose 1 phosphate we need to produce more glucose from glycogen now if we need to activate glycogen if we need to break down glycogen into glucose and if we need to take a million enzymes, a million adrenaline for that, it will be very, very difficult, right, for our body to produce many more proteins at a particular time. But it is saving time, it is saving energy. This amplification is very much efficient, guys. It is giving only one hormone, giving that amount of signal. So that's why amplification is required, and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.